We're Justin, GB, and Azalea, and of course, Red Pepper. And if you've been with us since the beginning, then you'll know that it's been our mission to convert our bus into our home so that we could travel to the West Coast and explore more of the great outdoors. When you set goals for yourself, they almost never come easily. Over the last three years, we've had to finish building our home, have a baby who, if you can believe it, is almost three years old, find a way to make money from the road, close businesses, open businesses, and deal with setbacks like the pandemic. And, well, just keep working towards our end goal to travel west. In early June, we set off on our big adventure of traveling the world, working remote and fulfilling our dream life. We ventured into Iceland and celebrated this new lifestyle with a bang. When we got back, we spent a week bidding our closest friends farewell and visiting family and prepping our bus for the road. Then, finally, the day came to peel out with red pepper and head west. We had an idea of the route, but nothing was set in stone. We didn't even know where we were staying that night. But that's all a part of the lifestyle, going with the flow and embracing the unexpected and unknown. Nonetheless, we traveled through West Virginia, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska, and after two and a half long weeks, we finally made it to the West. We've been through so many waves of emotion in the short but long distance that we've traveled to get here, from traveling too fast, working too hard, driving a lot, the bus overheating, losing content on a hard drive that crashed, to learning life lessons, and biking around with Azalea, and catching up with old friends, and meeting people along the way. Way, traveling alongside truckers and watching trains go by, maintaining good health mentally and physically by doing the things that we love and eating good food, visiting beautiful places and crossing the state lines to explore the USA. So well after all that, it brings us to today. And well, we couldn't leave you hanging without sharing some of the journey we took to get here. So let's take it back about a week. But before we do that, a quick word from our sponsor, Verb Energy. We were driving for like eight hours a day, and I'm not gonna lie, having the verb bars was amazing because I was able to say, hey babes, can you throw me a verb bar? And she'd throw me one up and I'd eat it, and it would help me to stay awake through some of these really, really long drives. Instead of the regular caffeine that you'd be getting with a cup of coffee, which by the way, would probably spill everywhere. Yeah, we, they, I don't know why they didn't make cup holders in yeah, the bus. Yeah, in the bus, <laughs> and we have one coffee cup that's like, an insulated cup but we lost it it's a long story and then we lost the lid so now we have she an open we have lid. an open like to go coffee cup that serves no purpose so anyways point being <laughs> these these bars are way easier to eat on the road and that green tea flavor is really yummy and i enjoy that it's like a different source of energy boosting as opposed to the coffee that can give you anxiety or give you the jitters and make you crash after a certain amount of time if you feel like you'd miss that coffee flavor they actually have flavors that are coffee flavor which is really yeah. nice yeah i'm not gonna lie we get the coconut chai which is dope so good it's with salt and peanut butter is the jam too and the vanilla latte oh god <laughs> we have a link below in the description which gives you 60 percent off you get a bag of 12 bars free shipping and then they throw in three extra for free just because they You're love awesome. you that too <laughs> And you get to choose the flavors that you want to. And literally less than a dollar per bowl. <laughs> That's yeah, like throwing right. coins at your morning coffee instead of dollar bills. That's a good point. It's a good comparison. It is. So their Stolter Kit is also going to be your best bet for trying a variety of their flavors because you're not going to be able to choose just one. Okay. Insert sexual music. <laughs> to a very unsexual video clip. So let's get back to the video and sharing our journey on how we arrived here in Colorado. We have a big travel day ahead of us, folks. Celia just woke up and I popped some like tincture medicine for her immunity boosting into her juice because she's not been feeling so good as of yesterday. She's running a little hot. She needs a little coolant. It has been like in high 90s for the last few days. 
So today our mission is to try and find some refuge, post up, and keep eating some refreshing foods and do cooling activities. Like cooling swimming. activities. <laughs> we said we're going to be crossing the state of Nebraska today. It's a little bit sad because we have to leave some of our friends that we've been visiting in Iowa. We're probably 10 hours away from Denver. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> and welcome back to another episode of Life on the Road. Mm -hmm. We are getting pretty close to Omaha, Nebraska. And we just found this um, rest stop, thanks to I Overlander, where we can dump our gray tank, which is perfect. It's been kind of tough to figure out parking spots along the way on the weekends, because most of the campgrounds are booked out. But I think we've got some in the works. Yeah. Well, we've made a short pit stop today to get gas, obviously, which is necessary. Um, and everybody's a bit hungry, so we're having lunch at the pump. Welcome to Juby's Gas Station Kitchen. What you working on? Making an egg salad. Leftover from Azalea's lunch that she didn't want to eat. We are just on the other side of Lincoln, Nebraska. Probably got like another two hours of driving or so. What do you say, Zay? You ready for the last leg? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you eat? Dog it. You okay? Yeah. You look very uh, picturesque with that wind in your hair. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Fortunately, today it's a little bit overcast, so. It's a lot cooler than it has been, but man, this heat, it's supposed to be 100 degrees next week. It's going to be hot. This heat's been kind of like taking it out of us during the day, especially during these travel days. I'm excited because we're about to switch over to Mountain Standard Time, I think it's called. It's going to be our last time zone change, at least for the next couple weeks. <sighs> nice sandwich, Mom's. Mom's is just going in for it. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> We're gonna finish lunch now because we don't have much to say. We're just stuffing our, our faces. Well, guess what? I'm bringing the energy. I'm bringing the heat. Recharged, uh, refueled, and ready for action. Is that how you feel? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> I want to drive because because I drive on this. I don't know. It's gonna be a tight squeeze through here. You think you can handle it? Okay. Ice. Ooh, that's the sweet ice. sound of cold ice. Ah. Um, who's, who's ready to hit the road? I'm ready. Let me just get my ice water. sweat <laughs> so I'm changing my closet out if you couldn't tell it's not winter anymore <laughs> so, so I'm packing away all of my winter gear I'm hanging all my shirts my t-shirts it's kind of weird cuz uh, I know your boss gets me empty can you give me your basket? actually do you need a basket? I need like multiple I'm always happy to get rid of a basket for you babe and all my winter stuff I can just fit in the back there. In case you were wondering where Azalea is this whole time we're filming, she's been asleep pretty much like all day. She really is still not feeling so hot. The most important part of this all is that you now get to soak this in because you have all of our undivided attention. I know. Don't take it for granted. This you is don't the get Justin and Juby channel, remember? We're back. Everyone's <laughs> like, Pff, let me know when Azalea's back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, appreciate us, okay? We're just passing through this uh, town, I guess. I don't even know what this place is called. We're like useless travel reporters, if you needed to know that that is, in fact, what we are not. <laughs> but we are somewhere in the middle of We'll put a link in Nebraska. the description! <laughs> somewhere in the middle of Nebraska, and we're staying at a boondockers. We've got a couple of RV slash trailer 
crew here staying the night, also passing through, headed east. So it's quite cool meet people in passing, kind of in transit as everyone goes about their way. Pops is about to go exercising, you know, keep up with the mental fitness. And well, I'm just gonna make dinner for myself and eat alone, I guess. Um, Azalea requested a burger, so I cooked her one and now she's asleep, so I might just eat it for her. Look, babe, this is <laughs> the most precious time of your life. Make your personal time. Hold on. And you don't sound excited at all. Oh no, I'm stoked. I am actually. You forgot I'm gonna how keep to reading. No. <laughs> I've been reading lately. What are you reading? I'm gonna do yoga. Actually, this is where we're gonna go and uh, walk into Juby's book corner. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is a book that I've been reading for a very long time. Oh, yeah. Trying to be better about reading books more consistently and more like every month a new book instead of like every month the same book <laughs> for like two years. I'm a really slow reader. And that's okay. But uh, anyways, I'm going to, I guess, make some dinner. These people here that we're staying with, um, I guess they grow soy and have like a little produce area in the back of the house. So they've got a bunch of tomatoes and some cucumbers and all things good and juicy that they um, handly, handly gave to us. Kindly handed. They handly <laughs> kinded us. <laughs> they handly kinded us in a bucket. Babe, there are people here. You can't see from... Oh... <laughs> Can you close that? Okay. Justin is stripping, giving everyone a solid view of his 